Hello friends, the most important thing that the viewer expects when watching a video like this is to understand what use this mech has. In short, it is a good mech which can be successfully played and won. Let's start with the characteristics, they are really great. Literally maximum amount of health, by the way, the same amount of juggernaut. The highest movement speed among the tanks, and to be exact 20 km per hour, it's equal to the speed of the panther. And the average energy rating 24 energy units at maximum. But the ability is very, very situational. It's neutral, literally. That is, in the case of the panther wall, you can shoot through, but the enemies can't. But the dome is neither for you nor for us. The dome is like some entity through which mechs can pass, but not abilities or bullets. It doesn't let the electromagnetic pulse of the Zephyr through, you're safe inside. It's the same with Redox, his ability can't get to you. But the enemy guardian can scatter your dome. Can kill shot or surge drop in on you as well. Tengu can jump inside and deal damage, or Cheetah can drop his landmine inside of you. The dome won't let the blast out if you run out at the last moment. Funny thing by the way, once you are inside the enemy dome you are invulnerable to disarming the guard. Okay, this is not important, because all these and other details you will learn during the game. The big question is, how do you defeat your enemies on it? The answer is simple, Arc Torrent. Of course there's a big dilemma, because this weapon is just ideal and lethal on the stalker especially with the implant to increase the damage ability, but you choose. Arc Torrent is the best option, but you'll need to shell out the money for the range implant right away. At maximum level you'll get 67 meters, which is enough to fight not only on small maps, but also on medium ones. Your task is to balance on the edge of the dome with your body inside and your weapon outside to be invulnerable to enemy attacks, but to be able to hit back. The best and easiest way to do this is from the side of the dome, that is, do not go forward and face trying to balance, but stick out the right or left side. This is a great mech for CPC games, because capturing beacons with this ability makes it pretty easy. Also in theory with two Aegis you can be in a permanent dome. Holding a pair of rocket mortar in your hand it seems like an easy win. But I've got to tell you, you need to have good coordination with the second Aegis in order to do that, so you'll have to use your voice rather than your intuition. But even then it's still not going to protect you unless you have a good defender like Zephyr. For if an enemy killshot gets to your rear, you're both likely to die. And so, this is a general first observation for the new mech that recently came out. My opinion, this mech is worth playing, I would love to see such an ally in my team. More interesting things will be discovered in practice after a while. Be sure to subscribe and like it if this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.